Hey there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and today I am just going to talk about one of our newest foils, Serenity. Absolutely beautiful, but it works a little different, so we're going to go through the ins and outs of working with this one. Today's tutorial is all about one of our newest foils, which is called Serenity. It's absolutely beautiful, and we've discovered it just transfers a little different. So most of our foils are a metallization or a film transfer, and this one is a super thin film that's more of an ink uh, transfer than it is a film transfer. So on the pattern, you do have design, let me hold this board up underneath it. Uh, you have pattern as well as um, clear, and both of them transfer, but they transfer super thin, and they're still is gonna feel like a little bit of a tack. It's not gonna be tacky like the adhesive is before you transfer, but there's still gonna be a slight tack in all of the clear areas. So. What I've done, just to show you guys how beautiful this foil is so I can go through the process, um, I have created some little round disc and fun different colors so you can see how different colors are going to enhance the foil and we're just gonna have some fun. As you can see, the Serenity foil looks absolutely stunning on a white background as it's laid out here because I think it shows the most um, vibrant of the colors of the foil, okay? So any other color underneath is still gonna be pretty, but maybe not show uh, the vibrance. So definitely play with color options and um, determine what's gonna look best for your project. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a piece. So we're gonna talk about the transfer. I'm gonna show you how this transfer, let you see how it's a little bit different than all the rest of our foils. Um, as I'd indicated earlier, the majority of our foils are what we call a metallization or a film transfer. So on the back side of the carrier sheet, uh, it's normally a different color if it's a metallization. If they're a film transfer, they're normally transparent and they're gonna be in um, like silver hologram uh, patterns, which when the you get the backside transferring, it almost transfers with a complete sheet, which we refer to as a film. These are transferring more like an ink transfer, so like an ink dye transfer. Um, you are also transferring not only the pattern, but the clear carrier, but it is such a thin application that even when you're done transferring it, it's gonna still have a little bit of a low tack. Okay, so you can determine which part of the design that you might want to see um, on your project because there's so much pattern to choose from here. And I think I just want to make sure I get that butterfly on there. So I'm going to put that a little bit over that direction, okay? And I got a little bit of a wrinkle, but we'll deal with that because, you know, it never goes on perfect, not unless you've got maybe four hands instead of two. I'm going to go ahead and just Cut off my extra because I think it's just going to be easier to handle. And then, I don't know why I feel like I have to do it this direction because I feel like that's <laughs> the correct direction for me, okay? So as with all of our foils, we do suggest that you try scrubbing with a um, short bristled, they're plastic. Uh, nail brushes normally are um, easy to find with they're a little bit shorter, stiffer. Um, we have also found um, this brand here, which is Libman, um, seems to find have some really, really stiff bristles, so you can try that as well. And then I found these little burnishing pads um, that we're trying to get a hold of that also can um, give you a nice little rub or scrub because there's a little texture to it. So you're going to basically transfer similar to the way you would any foil. You want to go ahead and scrub the surface.
And I'm using some pressure, okay? So I'm not just lightly just rubbing it. I'm actually scrubbing and giving some pressure. And then once you feel like you've at least scrubbed the, the whole surface or part of it, you can pull back. And when you pull back, if you see that there's still uh, part of the transfer or the design on the carrier sheet, you wanna lay that back down and scrub a little bit more. So similar still process to what we do with most of our foils, but you're just gonna find that this one's gonna to wanna to grab the surface a little bit stronger than most, because when you're peeling back, it feels like that carrier sheet is just wanting to get stuck, okay? So it almost feels like you have it upside down. Um, but pull it back, reveal the, the design, okay? Determine if you wanna to try to get more coverage. You can use the little burnishing pad or you can come back and scrub and try to transfer as much of the pattern as you can. These do transfer um, pretty well. There might be a little bit of the design that doesn't transfer depending on how smooth or textured your surface is. So just keep allowing the design, or the I'm sorry, allowing the transfer sheet to fall right back into place. And I did have a little bit of a wrinkle over here. So I can move that around and try to just make sure that I'm scrubbing over the area where there still is some foil adhesive to grab the pattern and then continue. Because see how much that wants to stick? Uh, because the clear film on this one uh, is so thin that it almost feels like it's gonna get stuck. So just come back and scrub, figure out whichever brush is working better for you. A lot of times the bristle does work better because it gets into the lower area. And then just keep releasing. So I'm gonna go from the other end because I don't wanna lose the position of the foil. So I'll normally peek from one side and pull back so far and then start peeking from the other side because I don't wanna pull all the way up and then not be able to reposition if I want to. So let's grab this side and do a double scrub. See what that looks like. So the main thing that you're gonna find is like I'm indicating, it feels like the carrier sheet is just sticking really super well, which normally once you transfer uh, the foil being the film or the metalization, the carrier sheet releases super easy. Uh, the other thing that you are going to discover is once you have transferred, it's still gonna have a little bit of a low tack in the clear areas where there was no part of the design that transferred. So most of the time when we're transferring the regular foils, we don't fill much tack left at all. Uh, but no matter what, you need to protect your foils. You're gonna need to clear coat these and protect them. And that way it will seal the tackiness of the foil as well as protect your whole project but isn't that absolutely gorgeous, okay? The colors are stunning, and it's just such a delicate, beautiful floral. So I'm gonna also show you guys some different colors just so you can see how the foil is transferring over color versus just something light or white. And like I said, even with, let me grab another piece of this and show you the difference of how I just feel like some of the colors are just a little bit more vibrant on the white or it just pops it more, whereas this cream color is blending with all the yellows. I mean, it's still gorgeous. You're just gonna have to figure out which is the base color that's gonna work best for your project. While we're talking about sealing it, Final Coat is one of our favorite project products <laughs> that we like to use. This one is super safe over the foils and it is considered what was called a wipe on varnish. So to apply it to your surface, you're actually going to just wipe it on. And I keep, um, when you order our like beginner's kit, it comes with this microfiber sponge, okay? 
and I keep it locked in a Ziploc baggie. And when you're getting, when you have a fresh one, you're just gonna unscrew the lid, put the pad over the top and just let it pour into it a little bit. And then just keep doing that until you've got enough product in here. When you're storing in the baggie, it's going to stay pretty fresh and that way you're not wasting a uh, product and you just wipe it on. It wipes on super thin, which it's designed to do. So it will probably take two to three coats to get a nice good coverage, uh, depending on what you're working on and how much um, handling the project could have. You might wanna build up five or six coats. The uh, final coat dries within about 10 minutes. It might just depend on the environment, how warm, cold, or anything it is and where you're working. But normally in 10 to 15 minutes, it'll be dry enough to put another layer on as well. So that's one of our favorite products. We do suggest you always use a water-based clear coat um, and test what you have. What you have might work beautifully, but we haven't played with all the products on the market. So just make a little test on a sample board before you do anything on your project. Okay. I have cut this piece off and now I don't know which is the carrier side and which is the transfer side because I'm going to tell you they look identical. So our trick is to grab a little piece of tape, whether it's blue tape or scotch tape, and then just go for a corner of the design, push the tape on, and if it pulls it off like that did, okay, we know that that's the transfer side. So you can flip it back over knowing that this is the carrier side you can put your piece of tape on there. So now you know that this is the carrier side and the other side is our transfer side. Okay, we're gonna work on some of these beautiful painted discs that I've done. And I'm gonna try to pick some of the colors that I think are gonna complement that base coat, okay? So I'm grabbing a portion of the design on purpose because that is the color I want it to see over the top, okay, or the part of the pattern. And again, just scrub, peek underneath. Oh, see how it just grabs, okay? It just grabs so well. <laughs> it feels like it just doesn't want to come off at first. So you might have to be a little bit of aggressive to get it to pop away there and then lay it back for that second scrub so that you can get the rest of the design to transfer and get into some of those lower areas. And then check again. Ah, look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. So I am just gonna go ahead and finish these up. I think it's so fun with this particular pattern to just be able to pop on the different colors that you might want, or if you want to see like a butterfly, a flower. Oh, okay, I kind of missed a little bit there. So let's see if I can even fix that little section, okay? Or if it will even look like I did. Okay, so I was a little short because the other circle had taken just a tiny bit here, but I don't think anybody but me will know that. So release. Grab again. These would be cute for place settings where you could actually write somebody's name over the top or put a little card on the top of it. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to get, trying to get a variety of the pattern on all of these. These would also work as coasters, which would be fun. You could either just seal them or even put epoxy over the top. Gorgeous. Okay, one more left to do. There's a little dragonfly, let's grab that. I 
And I don't think until you really start looking at every inch of this design that you see all the beautiful elements that are actually on this pattern. As I said, there's butterflies, there's dragonflies, there's areas that are more monochromatic and in the green tones, they almost look like a, a dark uh, black green. And then the vibrant florals, okay? So the other one thing I did want to show you is we have another foil that has come out and it's very similar in the release as well. This one is called Ava. Um, and Ava is a little bit easier to identify. It's a floral pattern. It transfers like the ink transfer as the serenity, but the transfer side is a little bit more identifiable because you can see the outline. There's like a silver outline around all of the flowers and you can see that on the carrier side and the transfer side, um, it doesn't have that uh, outline as distinctive. Now, if you're not sure again, always take your piece of tape, okay? Grab your little piece of tape and um, do a test. Make sure that you've got the correct side, okay? Some of it came off, so I know that I was correct. And then we're just gonna transfer a little bit of this so that you can see. This one is gorgeous on just about any color. We have found that it is beautiful, not only on whites and off-whites, but it's also absolutely stunning over black. See how it's releasing the same way, okay? It's gonna to wanna to stick really well, okay? And you're just gonna to have to almost like rip it off. Put it back down for the second scrub. other side as well. Put it back down. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to show you this on black uh, as well because you're going to be a little shocked at how different it truly looks. So I just have another uh, styrene board. These are just our sample boards that we test everything on. So as I always instruct, I think it's a great idea to always take the time and do a sample board so that you can figure out what's going to be the best color underneath a foil or how different a base color can make a foil look. We're going to double scrub still from both sides. And as you can already see, the way it transfers over a dark surface is completely different, okay? They don't even look like the same foil. Um, so sometimes there's a hidden gem when you change the base coat color. But again, all of these are more of an ink transfer. They're gonna feel like they are stuck to the surface. You're also gonna feel a little bit more tack left behind. So make sure you guys do your clear coats and protect them. And I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. You will find a complete list of all materials and supplies in the description below. And please do us a big favor, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials.